Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, grace and blessings of God be always upon you. Today the gospel speaks about the episode of Martha and Mary, a beautiful episode which all of us know well. Jesus goes to Bethany to the house of his friends Martha, Mary and Lazarus and there Martha, his friend, is busy preparing food and Mary, her sister, is at the feet of the Lord. Usually, we compare both Martha and Mary and Mary is given the privileged post. Let us look at the love both the sisters had towards Christ and not being biased towards Mary. Their love made Jesus to come to them again and again. When he came, they accepted him and made him to feel at home. How would we treat Jesus when he enters into us in the Eucharistic form? We say Amen and receive him with him. What is our response once he is into us? Are we treating him well? Is he feeling at home within us? Is he happy? Is Jesus Christ treated well in our bodies? Or are we taking him into us in sin? The sacrament of confession is really necessary in this. Both Martha and Mary fixed their attention towards Jesus. Martha did what she thought Jesus liked. And Mary did what Jesus liked. Martha used her thought, used her talents, used her imagination at the service of the Lord. But she forgot to surrender her imaginations, her thought process to the Lord. But if Martha wouldn't serve Christ, then what would have they ate that day? They needed someone there. Jesus says, Mary has chosen the better part. Mary oriented herself towards the words of Christ, to listen to him, to understand him, because she knew that the Lord God who was in her presence, in whose presence was she, was the Messiah of the people of Israel. Following Christ in a way, is, is the way in which he wants and not a way in which we want to follow him. We have to move from feet to feet. If we sit at the feet of Jesus, we will be able to go to the feet of people and watch them. Like Mother Teresa, every day she used to sit at the feet of the Lord for one hour in the morning before she could, she could go to the feet of people in Calcutta and around, cleaning them. Being at his feet means to listen to him, to understand his words and to let his words sink into our lives. Let us ask ourselves, dear brothers and sisters, are we ready to sit at the feet of the Lord or do we think that I am already doing so much for the Lord, even if I do not sit at His feet and pray, it's fine. Many would take shelter under the dialogue called, work is worship. No, work is work, worship is worship. Let us help ourselves by orienting ourselves towards the Lord and then our work for the Lord also will get its meaning. It will be fruitful. It will be lushy green. Amen.